Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a Q&A, very chill. Got my coffee and yeah, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. I posted a picture on my Instagram asking you guys to ask me questions. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go through my Instagram and answer them. I have my phone right here. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, the first question I have is, am I nervous to have another baby after losing Graceland? Yes, I am. I think anybody would be to have another baby after a loss. It is very hard, but I don't know. I, I want Gracie to have a younger sibling, a younger sibling. Um, and I would want them to know that she's watching over them. Um, the next question I got is what advice do you have for other couples who have experienced a loss? Um, the only advice that I can really give you right now, um, because it happened so recently, I just don't really have very much advice. Um, but the advice that I would give you is to hang on to your spouse. Um, it's a very hard time and I don't know, accept the love that everybody is trying to give you because it helps more than you think it would. But that is all the advice I have right now. Um, I might have some more advice in the future but as of right now that's pretty much the only thing i have just hang on to all of your loved ones um, because they're really special uh, the next question is do i plan on going back to work yes i plan on going back to work not sure when it's gonna be um i should hopefully know more in the few next few weeks and i will definitely update you guys but as of right now yes i'm just not sure when um, was I able to breastfeed or pump or did Gracie get formula? I started pumping from like the hour she was born and I pumped the entire time she was here with us. I've since weaned myself off um, and I'm not pumping at all now. But to answer your question, she never had strictly formula she did have like the 20 i think it was like the 26 calorie added into my breast milk um that was just to help her gain weight and what else she did have donor milk for i think the first day or so until my milk came in but after my milk came in it was strictly my milk um, the next question was is it hard moving around in the military all the time with your husband and what state are we living in now we are living in virginia still um we'll probably be here for another two years and do i think it's hard moving around in the military no not for us because this is the first duty station that i've been at with him and he's planning on getting out so i think this is the only time we're going to be moving we just recently bought our house so I don't know I don't think it's hard personally but I also am not going through what a lot of other people are because he he goes to a job 7 30 to 4 30 every single day um he he's starting back at work what is it next week but um yeah so I don't think it's hard personally but that's just me um, and our situation. What is my skincare routine and what's my opinion on it? Um, so ever since I was a teenager, I've had super bad acne. Um, I never can stick with one skincare line because my face changes so frequently. Um, right now I'm just using the St. I, I think it's the St. Ives apricot scrub for um, acne prone skin. And that's helping me right now. Um, if you can see, my face isn't too terrible. Um, but yeah, and then I just use a moisturizer. Nothing special, but if you do want to see a skincare routine, I would be happy to make a video for you. Just comment down below and I will make that one. 
what made you choose the name Gracelyn and will I tell my future kids about her? 100% of course I'm going to tell my future kids about her. She is so special in our hearts and if you could see all around our house, she is everywhere um, in pictures and I will show you yesterday in the mail. I actually got this from our NICU family. It's just her name on a bracelet and it has an angel. Let's see if I can show you a little better. Now it's not going to show you the name. But yeah, it's super cute and now I can wear it everywhere I go and have a little memory of her with me. Um, and why did we choose the name Gracelyn? I chose the name Gracelyn and my husband chose the middle name Nicole. I chose Gracelyn because it's very special to me. Um, whenever I was very young, I was very, very clumsy <laughs> and I was actually called Gracie because of how clumsy I was. I don't make fun of me. I used to like run into walls, I guess. I would be looking the other way and run straight into a wall. But yeah, so that is why I named her Gracie or Gracelyn. We call her Gracie. Um, but it was just really special to me. And my husband picked her middle name out as Nicole because um, one of his best friends that he lost to cancer, her name was Taylor Nicole. Um, so he wanted to use her middle, well, he wanted to use either her first or middle name um, because she was really special to him. So that's how we got Gracelyn Nicole Borman. All right, what is one thing that is on my bucket list? One thing that I've always wanted to do and I hope I get to do it someday is go to Australia. I've seen so many beautiful pictures and it just looks amazing. And yeah, so that would be an amazing, amazing trip, I think. Um, what is my favorite Starbucks drink? My favorite Starbucks drink that I have just recently tried. Um, I actually got the idea from Megan Lee. It is the TikTok drink, is what people are calling it, but I will put a picture of it right here. And I 100% recommend trying it because it is amazing and it is definitely a game changer for me for Starbucks. Were, was I ever in an MLM, just like a marketing online thing? Yes, I was. Um, back a few years ago I was. I was actually in Arbonne, um, so I was a, a consultant. I am not currently anymore and I do want to make a video giving you guys my experience with it um, and how it worked out for me. So keep an eye out for that video, but um, I'm going to do that at some point. Where all have I lived and is there somewhere I'd like to live next? Um, I have lived in Pennsylvania, that's where I'm from. Um, so I grew up there and when I was 16 I lived in Argentina for a year. Um, I was an exchange student there. Um, and then after that year I came back and I lived in Pennsylvania for a few more years until we moved to Virginia. And I'm still currently living in Virginia. I'm not sure where we're going to go next. Where do I want to live next? Somewhere where it's hot. I... <laughs> if you... That was Zola, if you heard that. Um, where would I want to live next? Somewhere that's hot. I hate the snow. I grew up with the snow my entire life. And I'm not a fan. I'd love to go somewhere where it's warm all the time. Hint, hint, Australia would be nice, but yeah. All right, guys, that is all for the video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I post. I will be posting every Friday from now on. 
Um, if anything were to change, I will definitely update you whether it's on YouTube or on my Instagram. I do post frequently on my Instagram, so go ahead and if you would like to follow my Instagram for any other updates, go ahead and do that. I will link it down below. But yeah, alright guys, have a great day. Bye!